Howdy, Beeflo Bart here, and welcome. Another one of my budget paper builds. All right, this time the Happy Hamster. Again in 300 blackout. However, this time it's going to be a 16 inch. It's going to be carbine, and it's going to be geared up similar to the Bacon Blitzer, with a few changes because you're going from a pistol to a, a carbine, or a rifle in this case, and. What I've chosen again is a Bear Creek Arsenal for the upper receiver for a couple different reasons. Well, first off, this one, unlike a standard AR-15 upper receiver where you've got the T-shaped charging handle, those are fine. They have their, their pros and their cons. Not bad overall. Um, I do recommend upgrading a charging handle whenever possible if you're using that type because, you know, when you put a scope on and you're trying to get to the uh, the T-handle, sometimes the scope can get in the way and putting a larger um, a side, char or a side, you know, side lever on or a Ambi style which has the larger wings, those are great. Um, it's what I use on all my other ones that have a standard charging handle. However, my current um, hog hunting 300 blockout AR-15 pistol is using the same receiver that this particular one right here uses. And zoom in a little bit, it's a side charging upper receiver. So right here in the, the back you have a screw in insert that blocks off that um, the gas tunnel that's on the very top and you have a side charging handle and I really like that and honestly if it was up to me I would start changing them over and Typically, just to buy that stripped upper receiver with the bulk carrier group and everything usually is in $200 range by itself. And trying to find a good source for those, Bear Creek has solved a lot of my 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 issues with this, um, cost-wise. And we'll get to the price of this upper receiver here shortly, but it's uh, 220 bucks for this complete upper receiver with bulk carrier group, side charging everything you see in the picture ready to, to, to drop on um, once you start using that side charger especially when you're using a scoped rifle or pistol it's a lot more convenient and just you know you get used to it after a while when you're used to uh, the rear t-type charging handle switching over isn't as hard as you would think because logically whenever you're reaching for the bolt handle you're on the side like on a bolt action rifle or most other semi-automatic weapons that are going to have the the charging handle right there so it doesn't take much for your brain to switch over if you're already used to a t-type charging handle so i really love that they've got this same upper receiver that i'm using on my my current uh, pistol build and a 16 inch build here. The reason why we're going with 16 inch build is it's going to give you a little bit more accuracy um, and again this is for short range this is going to be for sub 100 yards or so. Um, you might be able to push a little bit farther if you wish but I'm going to say with 300 blockout um, staying around the 100 yard mark is, is going to be about right for this. Especially for, for harvesting an animal you want to keep it around there. I really like this upper. I really do. Um, again, it's a 300 blockout, 1 and 8 twist, which is going to be common for 300 blockouts. It's using a pistol length gas system, which is fine. It's going to run, I know that um, my 10 and a half inch side charging uh, upper using a pistol length gas system, it cycles really well with the supersonic ammo. Some of the subsonic ammo works fine, but not all of it. So. For sure, the supersonic ammo with a 300 blackout is going to run really good in this. And it's got that spiral fluted um, uh, muscle brake on it. And it says it's got a heavy barrel. It's not super heavy, so it's not going to be super, super heavy weight overall. It's still going to be manageable to carry around and pretty cool. Uh, it's parkerized finish on the, um, the barrel. And of course, the rest is going to be aluminum, so it's going to be uh, hard anodized. 15 inch handguard um, with M lock accessories. I like the 15 inch handguard on a 16 inch barrel because it keeps your hand off the barrel. There's less chance your hand's going to slip onto a hot barrel if you're shooting a lot. Um, I, it's just a personal preference, especially if I'm going to be bracing off of something. And 
it just is more comfortable for me. So that's why I chose this particular upper receiver. As you can see, 220 bucks in stock. Um, on the Bacon Blitzer, there was one minor change that I had to make on that one that I didn't get into the video. Uh, the upper went out of stock. There is another upper that is in stock here, and I will show it briefly. Um, you go into here, Products, Complete Upper Assemblies, and you search for 300 Blackout. It'll help narrow things down a little bit. And also you can hit M Lock, which will help one more time sort things down. So the change on the Bacon Blitzer, and if you scroll down, the price goes up by 20 bucks versus the one in that video. And what you'll end up with is this particular guy right here. Same basic stats overall. Uh, it's just a, a slightly improved version. Heavy barrel versus the, the lighter contour. But it's still going to be very, very manageable. Um, you're still going with a 7.5 inch parkerized barrel. Um, that's the only difference on the Bacon Blitzer. If you want to go with the pistol build, check out that video. But it is a $20 increase in price from what was in the video to which I think it was a 180 to 204 dollars roughly so that are that so we're gonna move on to the lower receiver okay again we went with Palmetto State Armory because well the price was good right now currently in stock 120 bucks for a complete 100% complete standard type um, classic lower receiver yes it doesn't have all the, the fancy Magpul furniture on it but it's 120 bucks, and it's going to get us as low as we can get on our budget without going to complete junk. I mean, this is low end, but it's still Palmetto State Armory. It's still going to be mil spec. It's still going to be decent quality, but it's going to be our lowest entry point and give us room to upgrade later. Upgrade the pistol grip, upgrade the buttstock. Magpul makes some wonderful furniture. If you want to upgrade, you're getting up to the 150 160 200 dollar range for your lower with all the magpul furniture already on it but for keeping the budget as low as possible for this this build i went with this right here 120 bucks can't go wrong so let's move on to the scope this is going to be the same scope and same mount that i used for the bacon blitzer which was the the pistol version and this is a primary arms illuminated duplex dot one to four by magnification which again for a sub 100 yard gun this is going to be more than an ample enough if you want you can upgrade to a three to nine by 40 or something of that nature you don't need a whole lot for a sub 100 yard gun so in this particular case i stuck with the same scope it's 130 bucks in stock good to go really good marks five star reviews with 166 reviews um, yeah, I'd say that's pretty good. Um, while you're there, go ahead and check this little box right here. Tax on another 20 bucks, and you get a one-piece scope mount that fits this 30 mount, uh, millimeter tube, uh, one to four by 24 scope. So you're looking at 130 for the scope, another 20 dollars for the mount, and then that leaves us with just a magazine. And again, for hunting application, I'm going to stick with the Magpul P Mag 10 round magazines. Again, because they're they're short, they're low profile, and their price is going to vary between twelve and fifteen dollars. So I allotted fifteen dollars in this price point. Uh, you can find them cheaper. You can find other magazines. You can run them, the Magpul D60 or a Beta Mag, or I don't care. But um, for this build, I just decided I was going to go ahead and put this one in. Average price is around fifteen dollars, no matter where you get it from. These are currently on sale at Primary Arms. Since you're going to be there for the scope and the mount anyway, you might as well go ahead and jump in there and grab it. And it says 5.56, but it will work with 300 blackout. Um, I personally use ACS mags. They're more expensive. And the primary one that I'm using, I think, is a 5-round um, ACS mag. Um, and I, again, I like the shorter mags because they make the rifle or pistol a whole lot more handy to move around with. And to me, that's an important factor. Okay, well, we are here. This is everything you need to um, get you going, minus the, um, the ammunition. And 
putting everything together and essentially all you do is you take your upper receiver and let's go back and back one more time there are some other options for other upper receivers here on the site for 16 inches I chose the the one that I chose in particular because I really really like that side charging lever and once you you give it a try you're gonna I would assume you would love it just like I do so a 16 inch side charging upper receiver with a 15 inch M-lock handguard and I like the profile of their handguards they're, they're using on those 230 bucks complete lower receiver and yes that upper receiver is 100% complete all you do is you take this upper receiver you put it on here you push two pins and your upper is now on your lower go ahead and pop on your scope mount your scope and load up your magazine and away you go can't beat it total price tag comes in right at $505 and again remind everybody that this does not include your shipping and handling and it does not include um, any processing fee for your lower receiver and if you're not familiar with how to actually purchase a lower receiver online they have to be shipped to an FFL dealer most gun shops and the reason why I also use Palmetto State Armory is almost every gun shop you go to is gonna already be set up with Palmetto State Armory at some point or another somebody's ordered something from PSA and had it shipped there so there's a really good chance they're already set up if they're not then all they got to do is get in touch with Palmetto State Armory and become a, a, a dealer all they have to do is send a copy of their FFL and away you go alright so that's it uh, I want to thank everybody for watching and we have a $500 essentially um, 16 inch 300 blackout AR-15 pistol or rifle in this case with side charging 16 inch upper classic lower 1 to 4 by illuminated radical scope with mounts and Magpul P mag for the low low price of 505 bucks before everything else alright guys thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one